welcome back. This week's adventure is outside of Molokai. Um, Ivan had to work last day of summer for him. He's already back in school now, but uh, when this trip happened, he was, it was Saturday. He had to go down and do an oil change on the piper, help the captain out. Um, and I love that. He committed to work. Work is not always fun. So he missed this trip, but um, he had a great summer on that boat. Great experience and uh, learned a lot from Captain Jeff. Uh, but we went out, tried the owner run, nothing on that, but just beautiful scenery and uh, ended up heading out trying to find the Otaru piles, which we ended up coming into. Um, it was a great day and a little bit of drama, a lot of action. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here it is. If it does pop out, go over, you have to go over with it. I'll try. That's. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Not what is this water. try stuff? Not there is the two. The water. <laughs> if it was the only one, I would do it. Are you kidding me? That thing will sink like a rock. I mean, you're talking about a leaded weight, then wire, and a reel. on because that's that's what makes us happy i don't care about catching fish i just i just want to hear the noise <laughs> going to neutral Boys and 
girls, we've got some action. I'm just wondering if I bring this in, if it's going to get worse. Well, why don't you just...
was the moment we were waiting for. And unfortunately, you don't always stick them. We ended up dropping that ahi. Um, and you hear the radio going, the squelch going off in the background. The reason was the drama I was talking about earlier. Um, I turned the radio up because the Coast Guard uh, put out an emergency call that Ma'alaya Harbor had been secured and closed off by the Maui Police Department. For those of you that are out on the water, you know that's not, not normal. And Ivan's in Ma'alaya Harbor. So as a dad, I'm freaking out right now. And um, what ended up happening was there was a fatality uh, brought in on a trailer boat and made a call, found out Ivan was okay. But for a few minutes there, it was quite stressful because we're 44 miles outside of the harbor and we have a six hour run uphill in order to get home through that chop. So I was a little worried, but praise God, everything worked out all right and we were able to keep on fishing. Yep. Hey, you do realize I'm going to be showing this to your little league team. That's perfect. And nice. that took two. Oh man, this guy, I don't know. Business first, guy, sorry. Yeah, business first. <laughs> Yeah, you'll 
you want to count? I should try. I'm waiting on a mahi on the first one. What's up to you? Yeah. Go ahead. You're there. No, I'll be here. Don't try and sing again. He should be swallowed. He should swallow that hook, so you should have a few seconds, a few times to try. Okay. Uh, he's going to try and sing again. Yeah, he's going to try and sing again. Yeah, he's going to try and sing again. to the barn and I'm just coming around Halava and I see this bird pile and they ended up just running right into us and Kyle's downstairs taking a power nap and everyone knows this is the noise you want to wake up to. Yeah. Yeah. 
And that wraps up this week's adventure. Um, missed my buddy, not having Ivan on the boat, but we get him on next week for some Ono and Otaru. We actually get Haley out. Um, Kyle's wife this is the first time in two years they had their son Wyatt, and um, she hasn't been fishing in two years. So we get to get her out there. It's going to be a great video. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing trip. We ended up with. Um, nine otarus and four mahis and um, everyone ate well we even paid for some fuel so it was a great trip chase thanks for coming along uh you did a great job and good luck with your little leak season and kaz kinoshita if you don't comment on this video um i'm not gonna go diving with you so there um mahalo guys as always thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one